Hey, I'm Kelly, and I'm so excited you just downloaded my free transition guide. I spent more years than I want to say struggling to go from one thing to the next, trying to be there for myself, trying to be a mom, trying to be an entrepreneur, and not knowing why I was struggling so much with keeping my energy high, not feeling like I was present for really any of it, and just feeling like I was going through the motions and never really being able to embrace each moment and show up at my full capacity. And if you're a high achiever like me, that's frustrating because you want to give your 100%. And what I didn't realize at the time that was missing was a strategy to transition from being a mom to an entrepreneur, to transition from being a business person or just working to actually having some downtime. So the minute I started adding these things into my life, it made such a difference. And that's why I'm so excited to bring it to you. When we go from one activity to the next without ever giving ourselves some kind of reset or pause, it just takes a toll on us because it's a different way to show up as a mom. It's a different way to show up when you're trying to run a business or for me, hosting a podcast or whatever it is, you have to have a different version of yourself for each one of these. If you don't take a moment to pause and give yourself some space and really reset the intention with each thing, it becomes a struggle to maintain that with some kind of grace. And that was my struggle for a long time. So I'm going to run you through my triangle technique, my transition tri triangle. And the reason why I want to give this to you is because if you're like me, Sometimes when you see these things written out, it doesn't really make sense what you need to do. So that's why I wanted to give you, if you're more of a visual learner, another opportunity to see how you can actually implement this and how quick it can actually be to do this in your life. So if you've been sitting for a while, or even if you've been standing for a while, I do recommend doing the standing because it gives your brain a different message when you're standing versus doing it seated. So hop on up and let's get started. So just like you saw in the guide, it's a stepwise process. We're gonna start with five and then four and then three and then two and end with the last one. So I'm gonna run you through these and show you how synchronous each of them can be to incorporate into this process. So stand on up, you're gonna be tall, just like a Superman would stand, very proud, tall posturing. Again, this all sends our brain messages, our mind messages of how we're showing up in the world. So stand up tall, and proud and hold this posture. Next, what you're gonna do, you're gonna do five deep breaths. And while you're doing it, you're actually gonna be shaking your body and repeating release in your head. I prefer to do this with my eyes shut so I can really be in the moment, but do whatever serves you. So follow along with me here. So the next one we're gonna do are the four lateral rotations. This one I prefer to open my eyes for because that lateral movement of our eyes actually signals to the brain to go more into a parasympathetic response, which is that rest, digest, restore. So it's really beneficial to give that visual input, but again, do what serves you in the moment. We're gonna go for four rotations, left and right counts as one. And just allow your body to move whatever feels good for you. If it's too much to go all the way around, just allow yourself to do what feels right for you in the moment. The next three are actually combined. So number three are the three deep belly breaths. But what you're gonna do with each breath, for the first two, you're gonna think of the two things that you're grateful for. On the last breath, you're going to set an intention on how you wanna show up for the next activity. So, so putting one, one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, you're going to breathe deeply through your nose, allowing your belly to expand, holding that breath, and then in your head or saying out loud, think of something you are grateful for in this moment, today, whatever you've been experiencing. It can be very small or big, whatever feels right for you. In this moment, I'm grateful for my son running up to me and hugging me this morning. That brings me so much joy. And then you're gonna exhale slowly through your mouth as you release it. Go as slow as you need to. The next one, again, thinking of something else you're grateful for. 
in your nose, allowing your belly to expand. Hold that for a moment, really focusing on what you're grateful for. I was able to get outside and go for a walk in the sunshine. That really brought me a lot of bliss today. And slowly exhale. And the last breath, you're going to set an intention on how you want to show up for your next activity. So again, breathing in through your nose, allowing your belly to expand, hold it. And I want to show up with presence in my next activity. When my kids come home, I want to be fully present with them and just enjoy my time with them. Slowly exhale. The reason why this transition period is so beautiful is because it combines the body and the mind. So we're moving through the body in a way that is showing the brain and the mind that there is no immediate threat. We don't have to focus on the stress that's in our life. It's actually showing that we can relax and be more present with ourselves. But we're also going through the mind and focusing on things that we are grateful for that elevates our energy and also setting that intention allows us to filter out what is not involved in that intention. So for me, it was presence. So now my mind is going to be focusing on how can I be fully present when my kids come home? And that is something that will continue to resonate with me because it's the intention that I set. As you begin to do this, it will become more natural and easier to do it. And you will also notice you find the personal integrity. So for me, it's that presence. That's the commitment I have to myself that when my children come home, I need to be present for them. And as you start to practice this and you show up for yourself and commit to what you set that intention for, your mind starts to realize that there is proof in you being able to do this and that your integrity is completely involved in your healing process. And you will strengthen that integrity and teach your mind that you show up for yourself, you do what you intend to do, and that's a beautiful gift towards healing. Again, give yourself some grace in this process. If it doesn't feel natural, that's actually a good thing. Move into that discomfort, do it over and over again, be consistent, but that's really the beauty of it all. So because I broke it down and may feel like it's a little bit longer, I wanna go through the whole process in one quick bit so you can see how quick you can actually do this in between things that are going on throughout your life. So if you have a meeting, here's a little thing that you can do before your meeting to really show up fully. Or if you want to have a moment with your kids and really be fully present, here's something you can do to actually do that. So I'm going to run through it in my own space and you can watch and see how quickly it is. Again, I'm going to have those things going through my mind as I am focusing on them and running through the breath work. I hope this serves you well. I hope it really gives you that ability to set some space, set intention, and show up fully present for each thing throughout your life. Also, I hope it helps you to establish some sense of calm, connectedness, feeling like you're not on a treadmill just trying to keep up, and feeling like you're actually aligned with your purpose and how you want to show up in the day. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me, text me, Send me a message on social media. I will be more than happy to answer those for you. And again, I hope this serves you well to move you throughout your day.